I was wrong. Ethereum is not delayed for proof of stake until the end of 2022. Let's talk about it right after a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself. To support the channel, click the join button below the video and you will get access to our privately hosted rocket chat. Selecting the $1.99 option will get you access, and after that you need to head over to the membership tab, scroll down, and expand out your membership perks. Find the section for connecting on social media, and in that section there will be a secret registration URL to join Rocket Chat, where you can sign up to enjoy talking with other cryptocurrency enthusiasts and miners without spammers, scammers, or bots. Welcome back guys. So I made the mistake of misunderstanding the difference of course between when sharding was going to be released and when Ethereum 1 would go proof of stake via what's known as the merge. Now the merge isn't necessarily going to be included with any forks. However, we'll talk about essentially kind of the difficulty of interpreting some of this stuff along with what I've found so far. This is in large part due to, of course, Mr. Red Panda Mining, who I want to give a huge shout out to. So thank you for bringing all of this to my attention. Let's talk about it. There still is a chance, you know, that the mining for Ethereum goes on longer. We don't have full on confirmation, but it is getting much closer. So let's go ahead and work through it. So in the first link that, of course, you guys probably saw on Red Panda's video is he said they have this when is the merge happening this is at ethmerge.com now the wording is very cryptic at this time the best current non-official estimate is sometime in q1 of 2022 now in the podcast with lex friedman that vita was on they uh, he asked vita essentially is this coming when is it coming is it going to be in 2021 and Vita said best case or, you know, it is proposed at this point to be in Q1 of 2022. Now, of course, a quarter is going to be four months. So that could be January, February, March or April. And we'll just have to see how it shakes out. The key parts to keep in mind here was that depending on the result of the prototypes being built during the ETH Global Hackathon and the first results of the first Ethereum proof of stake hard fork, a decision will be made in June of 2021 on whether or not the Ethereum proof of work Shanghai hard fork will focus on improvements to existing proof of work chain or if the merge will become top priority. The Shanghai hard fork is currently expected to take place in Q1 of 2022. Now what this means is not necessarily that the merge has to happen in Shanghai. It just means basically if you start seeing the decisions for changes to Ethereum like the EIPs for Shanghai focus on proof of work, then you're going to have a better idea of how much longer there will be for mining. Currently, we don't have any confirmation of anything hard, but at this point we do have, if you take a look here, the latest update from Mr. Tim. And if we scroll down under Nocturne here, which this is the latest update I could find, we do have essentially a prototype for the merge that was successful. So this is the first big steps towards the merge. There are still endless technical details to find out, but Rayonism validated that the general architecture of post-merge clients is sound. Over the next few months, for more testing, infrastructure will be built and the actual proof of work to proof of stake transition spec will be finalized. Work is expected to slow down slightly on the merge as London and Altair are deployed, but will be the main focus of execution and consensus teams after these upgrades are live. While it's still far too e early for dates, we can now safely say that the end of proof of work for Ethereum is in sight. So to me, this sounds like that whole discussion of whether they would start doing changes to the proof of work algorithm or improvements in Shanghai, if you know the testing didn't go well, depending on testing, means that right now it looks like the testing is going well, and so they may not do any proof of work changes in that specific fork. Now my understanding, again, talking with everybody in Discord just to kind of get clarity and clarification, is that essentially Red Panda and uh, myself and Max Voltage, who was, thanks, huge shout out to Max Voltage as well, that it looks like you don't need the Shanghai fork, you know, to implement the merge. They are two separate things, so you can't really track that, but we can sort of track the changes that are being put into Shanghai here in the future as they get written and that sort of thing to kind of start detecting how close they are with the merge. 
as it sits, the best details that we can get would be that the earliest you would not be able to mine Ethereum anymore would be in January. However, it could go all the way out to April. And then if we start seeing changes being added to the proof of work algorithm for Shanghai, we can say that, okay, well, maybe they're considering push pushing the merge out even further. This is to my understanding as it is now. Cryptocurrency is always changing. I will always try to do my best to call out when I'm wrong or I've made a mistake or if something changes that I was unaware of. So that's pretty much where we end it. At this point, you guys can expect the end of mining Ethereum in particular to be around that time. Now we have to talk about alternative coins as well to mine here for everybody because yes, you could plan everything out right and you could maybe say, we're, I'm going to be able to pay off all these cards by the end of 2021 and everything could be looking good right now. But as you guys can see, it's very volatile market, especially when mining right now because of the difficulty spikes as well as the implementation of layer two. And the implementation of layer two, things like Polygon and Matic taking off will impact the mining profits because as that moves off onto the layer two, the amount of fees that you're able to mine go down. So if people are swapping on that as opposed to swapping on you know, mainnet layer one Ethereum stuff, then it's not going to generate the same amount of transactions and you won't be able to basically process those transactions. Not only that, but we also have EIP 1559 coming up here this month, which is projected to reduce mining profits. So until all of those things happen, you really can't project Ethereum payoff time by the end of 2021. It's not gonna be helpful. What you should start looking at is coins on what to mine, etc. checking the channel here for guides on different coins to mine for things that aren't making any proof of work to proof of stake changes, things like Ravencoin and Ergo, etc. Now we do have a WTF is for Ergo coming out tomorrow. I do have some concerns surrounding that. Be sure to watch the video to get a better idea. I have less concerns on where Raven is going at this point, just because it's been around for a while. It has use cases, NFTs are coming out for it. However, at the end of the day, we all know ETH is king as far as all this goes. So it's a very volatile time to be purchasing and deploying mining hardware unless we are looking at ASICs, to be honest. And for ASICs, you know, you're going to be looking at Bitcoin. You're going to be looking at Litecoin, preferably like the Litecoin Doge stuff. We've been covering that with the merge mining, keeping in mind, of course, really the only guaranteed stuff that's going to be like on an ASIC is probably still gonna be Bitcoin. So you gotta be really careful there. We're looking at more stuff here to kind of help you guys out and follow through it. This is a difficult time if you are a miner. It's, you know, it's very volatile and I understand. I'm gonna to try to keep everything as up to date as possible. Keep the videos coming for you guys. Be sure to let me know in the comment section below if I need to make changes, adjustments, I'll do my best to take care of that. Other than that, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, go over to Red Panda's channel and go ahead and sub over there. We can't all cover the information the exact time it comes out. So we rely on each other to help each other out and we rely on the community to help each other out and make sure that we are getting everything communicated as quickly and efficiently as possible. So. There you go. I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that it cleared a couple things up. However, I do feel like the amount of questions we answered, we just created a whole worm of other, you know, wormhole of other answers that need to be answered. There you go. A whole bunch of other questions that need to be answered, including what are you going to move to to mining with GPUs, that sort of thing. So here we go. See you next Tuesday. My nose itched. If you enjoyed this content, you can watch more by clicking this playlist up here or go ahead and subscribe.